In the Sunrise News feed this morning, new videos designed to teach school children about consent have been labelled bizarre and potentially harmful by experts who say the campaign trivialises a serious issue. Do you want to try my milkshake? Yes, I do. Is it better than yours? You know what? I think I prefer mine. But what happens when one person takes action without an agreement? You do, huh? Well, drink it. Drink it all. What are you doing? Drink it all. <laughs> Moving the line. OK, for their take, I'm joined by uh, journalist Louise Robert Sherbo and ARN National News Director Deb Clay. Now, Louise, Department of Education has actually sent us a note this morning about this mm -hmm. uh, because we've been covering it all day. And they say this particular video does not specifically refer to sexual consent but broader consent, mm. and then it moves on to sexual consent. There are 350 videos <laughs> in, the, in the whole series. Um, but do you reckon they miss the mark regardless? Yes, I do, unfortunately. It is such an important topic for young people and yep. society as a whole. I think if you're talking about sex and consent, you need to use those words. And the fact that Grace Tame, our Australian of the Year herself, a victim of sexual abuse and violence has dismissed it as unhelpful. I think it's very problematic for the government in getting a message across to yeah. our young people. I've got a 17-year-old son. I wouldn't be showing him this video. Yeah, yeah. I've got teenage daughters as well, and the best reaction I've had from them is a mature, direct conversation. And I think they can handle it. And unfortunately, in this day and age, they're going to have yeah. to handle it. And they're the, going to have to have a reality But the schools check. are having those conversations yes. anyhow with the kids, aren't they? So. Yeah. This doesn't seem to add to it, Deb. That's exactly right. The schools, the experts, they all say that if you are dealing with serious issues like rape and sexual assault, be forthright in your language. If a girl is inappropriately touched and she's 17 years old against her consent, that could result in an indecent or sexual assault charge. The same applies to grief. If you're talking about death, use the word death. If it's suicide, use the word suicide. Mm. Don't use all of these euphemisms. In this video, it's all about moving the line and yes it may be more generalized but at the same time if a girl is in a sexual situation that's escalating at what point does it become psychologically abusive is that sexual coercion these are difficult issues but teenagers they are capable of grappling yeah. with them teenagers are pretty savvy with this sort yeah. of stuff they know yeah. so I speak to them as as intelligent people. And yeah. uh, Prince Harry is reportedly considering staying in the UK for the Queen's 95th <laughs> birthday this week, but he now faces the dilemma of returning to uh, be with a heavily pregnant wife, Meghan, or spending more time <laughs> patching up his relationship with senior royals. Sherbo. For the um, sake of the royal family stay. and for harmony, week. stay there, Harry. <laughs> yes. Just for an extra couple of days, stay. All right, Louise. Also, but is that what the Queen wants? Does she have the stomach for more discussion around this? I mean, oh, maybe she wants him to go. Oh, Louise, I, don't know. I hadn't thought mm. of that angle. Mm. Very good. Mm. What well, she wants him to go. Well, I don't know, maybe. Hey, maybe. There you go. Well, I'm with Sherbo on this one, Koshi. It's not every day that you turn 95. Prince no. Philip, he has died. It's going to be a very lonely time at Windsor Castle. He has to stay. Yep. All right. There you go. Harry, message is clear. <laughs> Coming up, a star-studded Country Music Awards featuring our very own Keith Urban and Christmas with the Crawleys, the Dalton Abbey sequel that you've been waiting for. they planning? Apple's massive announcement. Your first look on Sunrise tomorrow.